Hey, how you doing today? I just stopped at a park here in uh, Bridgeton, Maine. Has a nice little brook running through here. Has a waterfall back there. You'll see all that sooner or later, I'm sure. But today I want to let you realize what I went through with my opioid addiction. Back in 1993, I had a car accident. I was rear-ended. And from that point on, I started with Percocet, Davacet, Vicodin, whatever I could find. You know, doctors, you know, at that point, this wasn't working, this wasn't working. So, what I did, I liked it. I really, really liked it. But you know what? I really did like it. So I got more. And I got more, and I got more. And you know what happened? Over the years, I went from Vicodin to Percocet to Davacet to everything you can think of to Oxycodone to Oxycontin, and that's what I was taking. Along with anything else I could find. But you know what? The whole thing comes down to I kept doing it. I didn't stop. So what I did, I got to a point where I was taking five 40 milligram Oxycontins a day. 200, two, zero, zero, two aught aught, whatever you want to call it, 200 milligrams a day. So remember that other video I was talking about? I told you about how morphine, I had to take it because that's all they could give me. Well, the reason for that is because being on all these opioids, there was nothing else I could do. Nothing. So you know what? They gave me morphine. So I was on 200 milligrams of Oxycontin. I was on morphine at the same time. And I'm still good, believable. It was great. But I could never get that high again. Three times I went back in the hospital. Three times they had to give me morphine. And I don't mean once. I mean continuously. They gave me a little thing that I could click. Every, I think it was 12 and a half minutes, and I could get a little dose. 24-7. Because there was nothing else they can do. I was dying of morphine. I was dying of opioids. I was in there for an operation. I had my hip operator, and I do, couldn't do anything for me. Except morphine. Well, in the other video that you saw, I told you I tried to kill myself because of the opioids. I had had it with opioids. Had it! I wanted nothing to do with them. But you know what? Again, you know what? My wife saved my life. I wouldn't be here today. You see this beautiful brook? running through here? Do you hear the sounds of the, and the noise of the river, the brook, of the birds? Could be a car passing by. I would never, ever have seen that. Right here. You wouldn't be experiencing this with me if I hadn't fed off the opium. But I did it wrong. I tried to do it myself. And I did it wrong twice because I tried to kill myself with them. At the same time, two, twice, two things at the same time. And then when I came out of it, I had to lie. I didn't tell people I took the 132 pills. I told them I put it down the toilet. Down the toilet. Everybody thought that, even my wife, the person who saved my life. Who didn't know that she saved my life until last week when I told her, before I put out the video that I have on this site as well.
The point of this whole thing is I don't want you to go through that. This is about you. But you have to know what I went through, how I felt. I couldn't get enough of those things. I was legally on heroin 24-7 at the highest dose they've ever seen in the hospital. On a continuous basis. They couldn't believe it. I'm here to talk about it. Yes, there were circumstances involved. I did it wrong, and that's what I want to let you know. Don't do it the way I did it. Please. But listen. Listen to the tips. Listen to the things. Listen to what happens. Listen to the, how your mind is working, because I know you're thinking the same way. Because if you're having an addiction problem, you're thinking that way, no matter what the addiction is. But when it comes to opioids, man, I was a zombie. A zombie! Nobody knew I was on this. I go to work, I go home, I do nothing. And like I said in another video, I five years, five years, I did nothing with my family. Nothing for the grandkids. Nothing, nothing, nothing anywhere. People came to the house, I'd go upstairs. And here I am, telling you my life story. You see, getting off of them does work, does help, but you have to do it right. And there's doctor's help for that, because you have to come, come down. You have to come down, and on a time when it's really necessary for you to remember that someone's gonna be there with you and can help you through it. Uh, that, that, that's all I want to try to do. And I'm sorry for this technical difficulty, but see, things happen in life, and you have to deal with them, like I just did just there. Did I let it get out of me? Did I get upset? Did I say anything? I didn't even stop this video. You know why? To show you, you don't have to get upset over things. Don't let it get to you. Don't go to that next step where the only thing you can do is go get a drink or go have a pill. Please. Listen to my website, Body and Mind Redesign. Please, see the tips that I have on, on how to, looking at yourself and what you need to do in order to continually remember that you are a value to your family. You might not like yourself right now, but remember your family. I never did. I'm so glad I did now, because that's what I have. I have my family now. So I want to thank you for listening, and I hope this helps you. Remember, Body and Mind Redesign, Facebook page, YouTube page, and remember, I'm not a doctor. I don't have any credentials, but I've lived through what I just told you, and every, every video on this is my video, not scripted. I just stopped by the road here, pulled out my laptop, my little tablet, and I'm talking to you. Because I had a feeling I had to reach someone about this subject and how and why I was taking opioids. And that's how much I was taking. And I did take 132 at one time. And I did try to quit myself, my life, my family, everybody. And I'm so happy I didn't. You know why? Listen. There's a little roar back there. I just hear birds chirping. A car just went by. I'm hearing things I wouldn't have heard if I didn't take the steps. After that fact, after I tried to do that, take the steps to continually do well. And I'm doing that. And I want to help you through it. I can't do it for you. You have to do it for yourself. But come on, come to my website, see some more tips. Get on my Gmail site. Get on my newsletter. I've got a newsletter coming out. We're going to have things. We'll be able to talk to each other. I have a webinar coming out. I'm going to be promoting that. Please. Bodyandmindredesign.com. Thank you very much. Have a great day. And as always, remember, adios.